What's up, Shark Family? Yes, I'm back with another video, man. And today is going to be a story time. Now, I know I ain't made no videos in a minute. My YouTube was acting crazy, and I had to get, st get some stuff uh, ready for school. I had to get stuff ready for school. So, yeah, I'm back now. You know, ha did y'all have a good Christmas? I hope y'all did. I hope y'all a had a wonderful Christmas. We ready for the new year, though. Yeah, for real. We ready for the new year. But today is going to be a story time how I got chased by a dog, oh man. Like this, like, this just happened, like, like two days ago. Well, not even two days ago, like, two days before Christmas. All right. Y'all ready? ready for this? All right, man. So, I get up, you know, I get up, brush my teeth, brush my hair, get, wash my face, you know, get, you know, the usual routine, you know. And I go get on my mama there. She was she she was she talking about, you know what I'm saying? She was like, "You mind going to the stove for, for us? Cause we needed some water, and you know it's early. You know that's the best time to go to the stove, anyway." So I'm like, "Yeah, I'll go to the stove. You know, I put my jacket on, put on a little sweatpants and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like then I go outside. This for the BS. Like this dog came out of nowhere. I'm by my car. Like I get in the car, turn on my Turn on the car, let the heat run. Cause I ain't got an automatic start. So I come out and let the car run for for at least a little like 15 minutes or so. So I close my door and lock it. Cause I'm about to go back in the house for like 15 minutes and come back out and unlock it. So like the moment I turn around and walk up the up the um the street, like back up to my house, this dog just flew out of nowhere, like and this, this dog don't even belong on this street. It's actually somebody that stay, like, down, a, like, a few blocks away from us. This day, dog. Like, so, like, the like, like I don't know what was on the dog, man, but it was clearly growling. So, like, like, and my, like, this the crazy part. Mind you, I just locked my car door. I just locked my car door. So, so tell me why I, like, I Mario jump on top of my car, respectfully, because I'm not about to get bit by no damn dog. Before Christmas? Fuck no baby. Are you crazy? <laughs> like like I was like like I was so scared like like when I looked at the dog like my adrenaline just like it just started like it was over with like it was I was in survival mode for real like I'm not about to let no dog catch me. But two days before Christmas and like the dog was big as hell. Like I don't know what it was mixed with, but that but whatever it was mixed with, it don't need to be mixed. No damn mo. Cause that dog was too big. It was too big and it was too damn strong. Why was the dog? The dog had muscles. You letting your dog lift weights? Like, come on, man. Like, that dog was too big. It's just steady growling. Like, it's thinking, but I'm telling you, if it would have jumped on the hood of the car with me, the dog would have been up out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, it it would have been out of here. I don't, I don't promote uh, animal cruelty, but that dog had to be, that dog was too damn big. We, it would have been over with. They'll make it so worse. The dog run off. Then the, then the lady that owned the dog, like I'm on top, I'm on the top of the hood of my car. I see her. I know she see me, cause we locked eyes. Bruh. How, you, how we lock eyes? And I'm telling you, you see, I'm yelling at the top of my lungs. I tell the lady, come get your dog. It's over here. She steady calling the dog name like, Daniel, come on. L lunch is ready. I'm like, it's not even lunch time yet. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, we locking eyes. I'm waving my hands up and all that. I done lost all my composure that I had on this morning. They make it so worse. I know somebody probably watching. I don't you because on my street, they got the uh, neighborhood watch or whatever. I know somebody, look, people out their window, like, yeah, he's on top of that car yelling. Yeah, that's unusual. Like, y'all couldn't help me out? Y'all know that dog been a problem. What's the, and what's so crazy is when I came back, like, I'm running back home with my family. From graduation the lady must clearly know who we are because she don't like us at all this is why because like when we was running back from graduation she got two dogs but um they was right they was playing out in the street in the street that we was on people are notorious for not stopping at the um it's a little stop sign that you're supposed to stop at they don't stop at that damn stop sign that thing do not exist on that street it's 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 pedal to the metal on that street. So like, 
So like us being us, we stop at the at the stop sign because that, why wouldn't we? That, that's the law. You got to stop right there. I'm telling you, like then the dogs they just all out in the street and the lady she on the sidewalk with her son and her husband or whatever. We tell them like 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 can you get your dog? They in the street. They preventing us from like going forward. Then the lady she started talking and spicy. She talking about I told you it was an accident. Now don't make me whoop your ass. Like what? Lady, get your dogs out the street. All we want is to get your dogs out the street. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was so odd because, like, like as she's screaming at the dog to come back, I'm screaming at her also. Like, like I'm talking about curse word after curse word is coming out of my mouth right now. Like, I'm like, I'm like, it's over with. Like, lady, come get your damn dog. Come get your damn dog. Do it, make then, then I, then I, I'm, I'm, I'm just shook up. Like. I get in my car. The dog eventually run out. I get in my car. I get in my car and I drive up to Walmart. Then mind you, I'm getting them five gallon jugs of water. Them things weren't really as heavy like that. But I put them in the cart. So then, then they give you these little coupons to get a half off or whatever. So I'm in line. This lady is so disrespectful, di disrespectful behind the cash register. I'm like, she is just disrespectful as I don't know what. Like, and that's the thing. Like, I don't be trying to be disrespectful when I'm going to the store because, like, you doing all that for what? Like, I just don't believe in that. Like, if you got something on your mind, you clearly need to drop it as soon as you come into the workplace, lady. Like, so I'm in line. I get up to the line. You know, because at some stores at Walmart, they don't want you to ring up stuff. They don't ring it up they sell. Because sometimes you might miscount or they won't ring it up or whatever. So it's my turn to get up. I'm like, hey, ma'am, how you doing? She not speaking. I'm like, all right, cool. I mean, it, that that's understandable. It's early. We don't want to be here. I don't even want to be here. You know what I'm saying? So I asked the lady, or do you want me to scan the waters, or are you going to scan them? This lady got the nerve to say, are you going to scan them? Are you going to are you gonna pay for them, or, or, or are you going to steal them? Like, me being me, like, I almost let that lady, I almost told that lady what it was. On this jolly day. You know what I'm saying? She gonna, like, then she gonna say, are you gonna bring it up? Like, like, she just said it's so nasty. What makes it so worse is, like, her manager is right there. And the manager, she's so soft, she ain't even say nothing. She just look like this. She, she glanced. She did. Like, what? I'm like, what? You ain't, like, how you the manager and you can't correct the employees? Yeah, they they clearly need some uh, y'all need some um management rearrangement up here. Then then I'm like, ma'am, can you just please ring my stuff up? Like she just so disrespectful. Like so then I get back home. Me being like, I'm not about to get bit by no damn dog. So I pull up in the, in my other driveway by the house, and I put the jugs on. The, uh, the porch then I pull into my then I pull into my regular spot that I'm in right now when I tell you that lady was still out calling that dog so I'm like okay I'm like all right so I go in the house I, I tell my mama like yeah like this dog been running around here for like days and that's also been the reason why I couldn't come out and get to my car for real for real so I've been stuck and then we've been so turned up on the holidays the the Christmas music been playing all through all day and all night. It would have been a risk for try to record a video in the house because I don't want to get copyrighted. We don't do copyrights over here. Y'all already know how that go. We don't do copyrights. So, like, that's also a reason. Like, I was so mad. Like, you got the dog terrorizing the damn neighborhood outside. Then, then you got the unlimited Christmas music playing inside, which, which really wasn't no problem because, like, even I, I could have made one, but it it still would have been it still would have been captured on the audio. So I wasn't I wasn't even gonna try to do that. I wasn't even gonna try to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I was just so flabbergasted at that lady. Then then the dog just it, it just pop up out of nowhere. It, it just like I'm just casually I'm just casually walking up to the um up to my porch to open up my door to go back in the house. The dog just it just pew is right there. Like what? Like I don't understand that. Go. Then she must have did something because the dog just ran off. She must have blew some kind of whistle or something. 
bottom line is like, I, come get your damn dog, for real. Had me at the top of, had me on the top, had me on the hood of my car, losing all my damn composure. Then it's already early. Who's trying to deal with that at this early in the morning? You know what I'm saying? Like, like come get your dog, man. But that's the end of the story time. That I hope it wasn't too long or too or too short. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My bad, I have to, I have to, you know, so much is going on. I have to have stuff I have to take care of. But I'm back now. You know what I'm saying? Make sure, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you share the video and hit that subscribe button as well. And all my social media links will be down below as usual. And don't forget when somebody try to doubt you, make sure you prove them wrong as always. And I'm up out of here. Make sure I have a happy new year. And I gotta, I'm definitely gonna have a car talk coming tomorrow because there's some stuff we gotta talk about. Like, I'm just so flabbergasted. But I'm up out of here, though. I love y'all. Peace.